Hey, what's up you guys? Bloody Jacob here to bring you a quick video just giving my thoughts on the second season of Banshee on Cinemax, which is, of course, uh, I think a branch network of HBO. Um, which uh, makes sense considering the style and everything. But uh, yeah, so I did my review on season one a few weeks ago now, I think, and I just finished uh, season two last week. I already started season three. I love the show. <laughs> and. At first I wasn't thinking they were going to be able to uh, top season one. At first it wasn't uh, really going for me as much, but gotta say season two, arguably uh, even better, I think, in the end. Um, just a really, really good season that uh, just kept up the momentum from the second, really, while still having all these other dynamics going on. It, it's crazy how uh, Banshee can have all these plot threads going and have this really engaging pace to it without feeling like it's rushed either, you know? But still this really tight pacing and uh, well-knit story, I think. It's one of the best shows I've seen in a long time, honestly. Um, you know, of course, I'm not going to be able to explain every part of the season, but I just wanted to kind of generally go over it. I gotta go to work in a little bit, so it's gonna have to be a little bit rushed. But, of course, the season picks up, you know, right after they went after Rabbit at the end of season one. Um, so, you know, it starts off with, you know, uh, you know, of course, Hood and the other others in the department, you know, being, uh, you know, talked to by the FBI guys who have come in. Um, they still can't find Rabbit's body, so that's a factor. Um, so that's kind of the basis for it. Um, and now my one gripe, and it's not really a gripe, I mean, it's just like a, I don't know, preference, I guess, I don't know. But I forget the guy's name, but there's this one guy who comes in and he has this, like, grudge with Rabbit. You know, he has this, uh, thing in his past that he really wants to get back at Rabbit for. Um, but within the, you know, five, six episodes, I think he's, uh, shot and killed before anything really gets, you know, going too far with him. Um, and he also, uh, knew Hood wasn't just, you know, a small-town sheriff either. So I felt like it was a little bit of a waste of that character. To have him killed like that and without really i think they could have made him a big concentration if they wanted to um but you know still it was all right it didn't like hurt the show for me i just thought they're gonna do a little bit more with him um but when he, the episode he was killed in was one of the most beautiful episodes i've seen in a while um you know, it's odd to say something's beautiful on uh banshee i guess but it was you know it's when uh you know, Lucas Hood, you know, takes, uh, you know, Anna back, you know, to, uh, the house, you know, he had set aside for him, so they spend some time there, it's really about them, it's really, a really, really character-driven episode, um, I just really enjoyed how they handled that, and there's just great stuff throughout the season, I, I really like the extra concentration on, uh, Siobhan this season, I know I'm probably mispronouncing her name, but, you know, the female in the, uh, police department, I really liked her in season one, and it just, uh, my likeness for her just grew in season two. Um, I really like her developing relationship with Hood, and they appear to have some kind of connection. Uh, of course they do, because they, <laughs> they hook up quite a few times, but as the season goes on, and especially towards the end, it appears like their bond is a little bit deeper than, you know, I think Hood is planning on. Um, and we also get this really, uh, centric episode on her because, you know, her ex ends up tracking her down again. We get a really violent fight between her and him, and uh, it was just really awesome to see, and she's a great character. Uh, then we also had the whole uh, Jason Hood thing, um, you know, the son of the sheriff who was killed at the beginning of the series, whose identity he took, and, uh, you know, so he ends up trying to blackmail uh, Lucas, and, you know, because he knows, obviously, he's not his father. Um, uh, Lucas, he ends up, uh, he feels like, uh, in a way, I think, that he has to help his kid somehow because of what happened to his father. There are moments where Lucas appears to have more of a conscience in the season, in a way, uh, because he wanted to help this kid, but the couple times he killed towards the end of the season, it appeared like he didn't really, uh, you know, he's really starting to feel, you know, how bad it was, or he didn't really want to kill anymore. I don't know, <laughs> but of course he still does when he has to, um, or when he feels it's right. But he, cr he clearly doesn't enjoy it all the time, that's for sure. Um, but anyway, uh, so Lucas, you know, he ends up having, you know, Joe, you know, set up this, you know, of course, you know, fake fake package, you know, uh, you know, pa fake passport identity, you know, everything like that. 
um, for the kid, you know, to get him out of there. But uh, of course, he gets involved with Rebecca and gets himself killed by, uh, you know, of course, Proctor and Burton. Proctor, of course, you know, he had some interesting stuff this season. You know, Lucas ended up, uh, you know, riding on him a little bit more. Um, he actually ended up having Proctor busted, which is good. Um, but of course, Proctor doesn't stay in there for long, um, despite the charge. Uh, and of course, Proctor and Rebecca's relationship was even more odd this season. Uh, they don't show up, but they actually hook up right at the end of the season, and uh, we officially see him in bed in season three. So, you know, it's weird, but you know, we all knew it was gonna happen. <laughs> um, you know, I liked his stuff and dealing with the uh, Amish and everything like that too. Proctor's are still a really good antagonist, and you can still kind of watch his perspective and enjoy it too. I think. Um, there's also a uh, Chaitany, a big, uh, you know, native guy and everything like that, who's kind of seems to be the main antagonist of season three so far. Um, pretty crazy fight with, you know, him and Hood and everything like that. Um, you know, of course, Brock is also growing more suspicious of who Hood actually is, and he's wanting to look more into him and things like that. Emmett, he also, uh, got a big concentration this season. I really like the stuff with Emmett. Um... You know, his wife is pregnant, but then these neo-Nazi fucking bastards, they they, hit his, they beat his wife, cause her to lose the baby, and then at the end of the season, they uh, gun both of them down. Uh, that was really shocking to see, and I, I was pretty surprised what happened. Um, but luckily, before that, though, you know, uh, he beat a couple of them nearly to death himself, which is cool, and he only locked them in the building, you know, in the cell and everything like that. Um, that was really good stuff. I, I didn't expect him to be killed at the end of the season. Uh, that was really unfortunate to see, and it's definitely uh, weighing in season three. So, uh, yeah, really, really enjoyed all of it. Um, yeah, I'm just trying to think of everything, but I'm not going to be able to. Um, and like I said, the stuff with Rabbit uh, it wrapped up the season. Um, Rabbit's not in a whole lot, you know. Anna ends up going to a jail, you know, going to jail. She ends up, you know, trying to reconnect with, you know, Gordon and uh, Deva and you know the kid, you know, the little boy and things like that. Um, you know, of course, Deva eventually finds out at the end of the season, you know, that uh, Hood is her father, which is good. I really like that dynamic in season three now. Um, but how they handled uh, the final Rabbit episode in the season finale I thought was really good. You know, him just sitting on the bench, you know, telling Lucas this could be him someday. But, you know, he just sort of ex ex uh, accepted his fate now at this point. Um, and just the conversations and the flashbacks and everything made you feel more forward and see how big it was, you know, on, <coughs> on all ends. It just wasn't that simple. Um, so really well written stuff, actually. So those are my, uh, you know, then there's the long shadow thing and Rebecca actually killing him. That was pretty violent. Um, but after uh, she fucked him a couple times, I guess, I don't know. <laughs> uh, Rebecca's definitely an oddball for sure. <laughs> but uh, anyway, still really, really good season. Probably a little bit better than season one, but season one is great. I could probably go either way on that. So let me know you guys thought about season two of Banshee. And of course, I will do a review of season three once I finish it at some point. So, uh, yeah, follow me on Facebook, Twitter, like, subscribe, or if there's anything else about Season 2 you want to talk about, leave a comment below, and uh, peace.